When you are saved, the Lord lets you try every spirit to see whether that spirit is of God. When you're saved, God lets you know that everything glitter is not gold. Amen. And everything shout ain't about to be happy. Excuse my expression. Amen. Not in Jesus. Amen. Amen. When you're saved, the Holy Ghost lets you know every tongue is not the Holy Ghost. Yeah, that's right. When you're saved, you know how to separate holy from unholy. Yeah. Don't nobody have to tell you don't go to that party if they're drinking if you used to drink. When you're saved, you don't be tasting spiked drinks. Oh, Merry Christmas, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He shall save his people from their sin. He gives you discerning, discernment. Right. Hello? And you say, is this the mind of God that I have? Is this God's perfect will for me? When you say, you don't be caught up in a whole lot of traps. Right. Yeah. Right. Number five, when you save, you cannot call unjust just. Yeah. If something ain't right, it just is a right. Yeah. If you did wrong, you just did wrong. For the just shall live by faith. When you save, you separate just from unjust. The Holy Ghost is sacred. The Holy Ghost warned the child of God that the approach of sin will bring you down. I'm talking about when you save. Am I teaching the save people tonight? Oh, 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 I thought so. Hallelujah. How many know the Holy Ghost will let you know sin will bring you down? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. When you save, you cry, yes, Lord, Amen. to the Lord. Amen. You just can't call unjust just. Amen. You did somebody wrong, you did them wrong. That's right. You don't try to pick them apart. You say, I did them wrong. Amen. Amen. Number six, to be saved from sin means when God said something is improper, you agree with God. Amen. Amen. You don't go to the clubs. Don't go to house parties. Don't drink booze anymore. Don't get high on wine. Oh, Lord, help us. Amen. When you say the Holy Ghost will tell you, put them cigarettes down. Come on, Doc. When God says something improper, it's improper. It means you anger, but you sin not. It means you don't go to bed in your wrath. Because when you wake up, you're angry on the next morning. That's right. Amen. Why? Because Emmanuel is with you. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. When you say you don't kill with the weapon, you don't kill with your mouth. Amen. Am I still talking to Amen. saved people? Amen. When you say you watch your tongue and how you talk about people. Yes. Amen. Yeah, 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 yeah. I say it again, when you save, you watch how you talk about people. You put a bridle on your tongue. You don't kill people. Don't use your tongue for a murder weapon. Amen. Amen. When God said something is improper, you agree. Amen. God said adultery is improper, you agree. Amen. Got quiet on me in this Holy Ghost church. Amen. God said fornication is improper, you agree. Amen. God says sleeping around outside of marriage is improper. You agree. I thought the saints would be shouting. He shall save us from our sin. You don't go around and sleep around and wish it wasn't sin. Wish it wasn't fornication. Wish it wasn't adultery. Hallelujah. You don't go around wishing that outside of fair was not the vices of Satan. Are you truly able to say Merry Christmas? Come on, Doc. Hallelujah. Are you truly able to say? And she shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Jesus, saints. And he shall save his people from their sin. Ooh, I'm so glad for this beautiful word tonight. Thank you, Jesus, for such a beautiful way of holiness. 
Somebody say, thank you, Lord, for the way of holiness. Somebody say, a clean way. Somebody say, a just way. Somebody say, a good way. Somebody say, a holy way. Can you truly say, Merry, Merry Christmas. Thank God for the eating and, and cooking and all like that, but that's not where it's at. We just do that among ourselves, but I'm talking about the true meaning of yes, Christmas. Lord, yes, Lord. Isaiah 35 and 8 said, And an highway shall be there. Yes. And a way. Yes, Lord. And it shall Call be called the way of holiness. Holiness. Yes. The unclean shall not pass over it. Go and get it. Turn. Y'all too quiet. Turn to it. Amen. Isaiah 35. At eight, and we'll all read it. Can we say amen? amen? Thank God for the word. Anybody thank God for the word? I mean, no, the word is right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at somebody say, Merry Christmas, baby. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Amen. Isaiah 35 and 8. Amen. Do you have it? Bless you. I want to hear you read it now. Do I need my sign? All right, to tell you get loud. Let's read. And a highway shall be there, and a way, and it shall be called the way of holiness. The unclean shall not pass over it, but it shall be of those the wayfaring men, though fools shall not err therein. Can somebody say thank you, Lord? Can somebody say thank you, Lord, again? Amen. 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 The saved know that there is a difference between admission and exclusion. Yeah. Ooh. Glory. He shall save his people from their sin. Yeah. The saved are on that way. They are admitted on the highway of holiness. But the unsaved are excluded. From the highway of holiness. Can we say amen? amen? Because when you get on the highway of holiness. You are going into the presence of God. Amen. Isaiah 26 and 2 said. Open ye the gates that the righteous nation. Which keepeth the truth shall enter. Can we say hallelujah? hallelujah. Yes Lord. Yes Lord. This is a holy church. Yes, you yes. say hallelujah. Hallelujah. John 10 and 9, Jesus said, I am the what? The door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture. Look, somebody say, I belong here. I belong here. Say to somebody else, I belong here. I belong here. Amen. On the highway to holiness, I belong here. 